exciting and cool programs to be checking out. The first one is the Fortin Nameless, which is based on the Fortin Mashuga amp. And the second one is the Fortin NTS, which is based on the Fortin Nottis amp. Now, some people might know Mike Fortin from the Randall days of when he designed the Thrasher, as well as the crazy KH amp of Kirk Hammett and Ra Randall uh, Satan of Ola England's. Well, he left Randall at the end of 2015, and he started up his own company again, Fortin. And with that, he decided that he was going to uh, do a little bit of forward thinking and come out with these programs. So I'm using an old sacred track for this. This is Snake Eater. Uh, just the guitars, nothing else. There's no drums. There's no vocals. There's no bass. Uh, this is just to showcase the actual tone um, of my guitar tracks that I have on here. So the first one that we're going to do is the uh, the actual Fortin Nameless, which is going to be the Mashuga based amp. So this is it here. <laughs> As you can see, I was moving around some mics and getting a couple different tones. I spent some time on this actual sim, and it's great. So in the front, you have the Fortin Grind, uh, which acts just like the real one that's on my pedal board that a lot of people have heard me play. Um, this one here is the basic uh, Fortin interface, and this is exactly like the Meshuggah amp. If you notice here, you, could, you can use the low or the high input. When you're using the high input, you're using these two gains together, and that's to allow good context of sound. When you're using the bottom one, you're just using this gain here, and then you just basically take it to taste. I personally like using the two and blending them. Uh, it makes my life a lot easier when it comes to capturing the right tone. So that is the Meshuggah amp, and uh, I'll just go over here a little bit more in the song so you can kind of see what it sounds like uh, with a little more clarity. <laughs> So that was the Fortin Mashuga. Now I'm going to go down over here. This is the Fortin Nodis, which is this amp here. And as you can see in the uh, front half of this one, you have the Fortin Zool, which is an amazing gate. You have the hex drive and the grind. The hex drive is more of a classic uh, overdrive that you'd get you know, in, in the earlier days, the late 80s and early 90s, whereas the grind's a much more modern tone. And it's just it's an overall monster. So I, right now I have a preset that I've been using. And um, this is one that I found a lot of good tone with. As you can see over here, you've got girth, grind, and gain, known as the 666 knobs of Mike Fortin. And these are basically the tone shaping aspect. And then on the top of those, you have your, your trebles and everything. So let's get this one playing here. <laughs> some sort of funky reverb going on there. Let's see what's going on here. Um, get rid of that right away. Let's just cut that right out. Like that. Okay, now let's get back to it over here. So now I'm going to put them both together and you'll see what you get. You get this really nice blended uh, tone when you use both amps. It's it's phenomenal kind of sound, and uh, this is what it sounds like here. <laughs>
Is of these amps are uh, the main difference is, is this one here the Fortin Mashuga it's like a brutal brutal gain monster uh, it is for the guys that want to just go hard you know and get some crazy modern metal tones that is what you want if you're looking for something a little more death metal and a little more tone happy and and something where you can really balance out your mids and and your lower mids uh, the the Fortin Nautis is, is more for you um, I like them both. When you put them both together and you really mess with the sound, uh, this is just a quick example. You get some insane tones. So, anyways, that is the Fortin MTS and the Fortin Nameless Sleeps. <laughs> 